Okay, so second round. Again, nice soft knees, load to explode. I'm gonna turn my camera just a little bit that way. There we go. Load to explode. And again, we drive up, catch, and up. So again, nice soft knees. Here we go. Drive up, second round. So these are the big muscles you should really be feeling, especially if you're outside right now. You might be inside in air conditioning, unlike me, <laughs> down by the beach. Last one, catch, drive up, catch. We're gonna do some deadlifts now. So if you are inside, again, you know, just make sure you have a towel and some water. You might be sweating and feel a little bit it's sticky today. In the middle of a heat wave in the middle of August. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Load to explode where the feet are. Tip, drive up. Tip, drive up. Look at here, she can see me. Again, load to explode. My back is nice and flat, that's the key. Bring that down so you can see me a little better. Nice pinch in the shoulder blades is key, even on the way down. You don't want to round the back. You always want to keep the shoulders back even on the way down. You're going to feel this, the back of the legs, hamstrings, glutes, low back in that order. Okay, a couple more. Hmm. Outstanding job, beautiful. All right, now grab some water. I'm going to set up my mat, i.e. my beach towel. <laughs> Let me just organize this, my camera. So we've got three things to do here triceps, biceps, and squats to push-ups. Mm. So round three, here we go. Hopefully I won't lose my camera here. My camera did a little bit of a, a wind. Okay, so we're gonna start with a, uh, let's actually, let's start with triceps uh, press to extension, okay? So see if we can probably bring this down a little bit. Maybe it won't blow. Hang on. There we go. How's that? Much better. You guys can see me. Brought my tripod down a little bit, so well, it's less likely to blow. Okay, so we're gonna start with some light dumbbells, okay? And we're gonna do some kneeling bicep curls, okay? Then we're gonna do squats to push-ups. Then we're gonna do tricep presses to extension. So I'm gonna be on my back for those, okay? So probably grab something rather light, okay? I'm gonna keep my tens and we'll go three rounds down, okay? Now, why are we kneeling? Why is, kneel why is kneeling important? Well, I feel like the kneeling bicep, we're gonna kneel for shoulders too really gets you to um, engage the muscle at hand. So if we were standing, we might be able to cheat a little bit with our um, lower body. We're not gonna be able to do that when we're on our knees, okay? So on your knees, you can either curl your toes back or not have them flat, okay? Like tabletop and yoga. And we're just gonna bicep curl up, bicep curl up. So just the fact that you're kneeling during this move makes it a little bit tougher. So turn it up turn it up, whatever you have in your hand, turn them so I can see the, the front of your knuckles, right? Isn't that cool? So you're really going to feel that bicep engage. So if you want to, count to 20. That'll give you 10 on each side. You've got the idea. Boom. Now for the sake of showing you all these particular moves, I may not do 20, okay? Here's the second round. We're going to do our squats to push-ups. Now this one's a little bit more difficult. If you have wrist issues, you may just want to do the squat and just kind of touch down with your fingers. Don't bring your whole palm down because if you have wrist issues, you might come down a little bit too hard. The key is lightness here. The key this is a core move as much as it is a leg move, okay? So you really want to keep your core engaged. Just zip that tummy on, draw that belly button toward the, the back of the spine. And then and we're just going to squat down low, come forward, and push back, okay? So let me show you. I have to take my shoes off here. How you doing out there? Everybody's okay? All right, so this one is a regular squat. So we start with um, load to explode, and now we're going to go really, really wide, okay? So we're going to get low, okay? We come low, we're going to get our elbows inside of our, our, our legs. Some of you that do yoga know this is Malasana squat, okay? Let me just see. There we go. 
So it's in a sense a malasana squat, nice and wide. Turn your toes out just slightly, coming forward. And if you can roll onto the front of your feet and down to almost like you're gonna do a handstand and push away, okay? So roll onto the front of your feet, lift the heels and push away. So you're gonna really feel that. So it's a squat to a push up. So you're getting your upper body in, but your hip flex is moving, your low back's moving, really draw in the spine. So you're really getting some core work in here, okay? Let's see it again a couple more times. So again, load to explode, heel toe wide again, turn the toes out, elbows inside if you can, get really low, push onto the toes, forward, push away. So you can just touch if you want to and back to the heels. Roll forward and touch if that's a little bit easier. If you're nervous about wrist issues, that's perfectly fine too, okay? So you're gonna feel the outside of the legs for squats. <laughs> you're gonna feel upper body from the push-up. You're gonna be engaging the core to keep you nice and strong. Lots of things going on there. Last one, triceps. So let me face you with my head this way. Hopefully you guys can see me. So this one's gonna be a press, elbows nice and tight. So we're gonna work the back of the arms now. Elbows nice and tight, push up toward the head, back up, back down by your sides. So we call it a press extension combination, okay? So let's see what we've got here. I'm gonna lay back, make sure you guys can see me. We're gonna put our feet up. What a view, huh? What a view. So we're here, we're gonna bring our elbows right by our sides, push back up. So you're gonna feel the shoulders and the triceps. Bring these down toward the head, straight up and back down. Can you guys see me? Video all of it. There we go. Okay. So we're up, back down right by your ears. Okay. Back down, straight up. So you're really feeling the back of the arm here. Okay. So pushing up, extension, back up. And over now you really want to make sure that you're keeping your um, your fingers facing it all like you're clacking cymbals okay we press up and down and bring these down to around so that your your hands are kind of in line with almost a little higher than your belly button okay you don't want to be way up here you want to be down below look at my my sh um, backs of my arms are actually on the ground okay now if you're on a bench you want to make sure that your hands are kind of in line with your navel, maybe slightly higher, okay, and back up. Because that's how you're going to engage the triceps. If you're too high up on the press, you're going to get shoulders. So you want to be down below, press, and then extend. Press, and extend. Last one, try to keep the elbows nice and tight here, and up. Beautiful. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's go around one more time. Okay, and then we get some shoulder stuff to do. So we've got our bicep curls. Again, turn, show me your knuckles. Okay, show me the, the front of your, the backs of your hand. Okay, because that's going to show me that you're really twisting, twisting, and really getting the bicep in. Okay, now if that you want to put a foot up, that's fine too. I find it a little bit safer to have both the knees down so you don't have your hips misaligned for that move and up one more for the sake of time okay let's go back to our squat push-up combinations again load to explode heel toe wider get into that malasana squat you can roll onto the toes and just finger touch and push away you can roll onto the toes get your palms down push from the palms you're really going to get fill that in the legs come on down push away Come on down, push away, and you get the idea, okay? So that's what we call our squat to the push-up move. And again, it can just be fingertips if that's easier for you. Lastly, let's get our last move of triceps. We've got some shoulders, abs, and we're good to go. Triceps, again, one more time. Check yourself before you wreck yourself, right? So we come up like we're clacking cymbals, back down, up to the head, Come on down, up to the head. Ugh. So we're really working the back of the arm here and you're probably gonna feel the shoulders engage a little bit too. The anterior delts, keep the elbows nice and tight. 
You don't want to look at it like I'm holding a balloon, okay? Back up and down. All right. Okay, quick transition. I'm gonna grab some water, dry off for just a second. You should too. We need something light. We're gonna continue with some shoulders. We're gonna stay on our knees though, okay? Mm. Okay, this is a sticky one out here. All right, because in that last tricep move, you get a lot of interior delt heads. That's the front of your shoulders. We're gonna do upright rows, which are gonna work the back traps a little bit, and side raises, which will work the medial portion of your shoulder, okay? Your shoulder heads are, if you took your fingers and placed them right over your shoulder like that, that's exactly what the muscles of the shoulder head look like, okay? You get an anterior, medial, and a posterior, okay? And then of course you got your traps and your rhomboids in the back, but we've been moving those a little bit as we've gone along. So let's get now our sides and our traps a little bit. So something light, something light. And again, I would recommend you stay on your knees here, okay? Probably not bringing a foot up, that might be a little dangerous. So we're up to an upright row. Look at my elbows. It's like someone's got something uh, screwed into my elbows and they're lifting me toward the ceiling or the, the beautiful sky. But don't lift the shoulders, keep the shoulders low, okay? So you wanna keep the shoulders low as you lift with the elbows for the upright row, okay? So a lot to remember, right? A lot to remember. And keep going. And where should you feel that? Again, right here. Uprights. Lastly, side raises. So again, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Double sides here. Try not to let the, I'm going to get back so you can see me. Try not to let the plates or whatever you have or dumbbells be any higher than your shoulders. Okay. And if it's easier to go one at a time, one at a time is an option. If it's easier just to make a fist, make a fist. Maybe you don't have plates that are light enough to do this. Perfectly fine. Okay, boom. All right, so lots of things. So we've done legs, we've done uh, back, we've done back of the legs, we've done glutes, triceps, biceps, shoulders, we're almost done. Let's do one more set here. Come in here, we're up. Again, drop the shoulders and lead with the elbows. Don't let those shoulders come up toward the ears, okay? Wow, nice. Okay, and look at where my hands end up kind of right below the chest line with my plates or dumbbells, okay? And I can feel that. Lastly, nice side raise, roll the shoulders up back and down. You can do onesies if you need to, onesies. Isn't that great? Boom, boom, what's gonna happen? We've got a big storm coming in, huh? Uh-oh, it's okay, we'll all be fine. We made it through COVID, right? I'm a high school teacher, I teach in Swansea and uh, we're going back to school soon, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> I know some of you watching probably have kids that go to Diamond or to Durfee or some, maybe even some that come to uh, Case High School where I teach, Somerset. Um, so thank you for watching, okay? All right, we're coming back to full sit-ups and planks, and then we'll be done. I'm gonna keep my camera here, I'm gonna keep my head toward you, my feet this way, okay? Last thing. So here's the, here's the ending piece. Now this one's gonna be a basic sit-up. What happens if you can't be on the ground doing a sit-up, okay? Not a problem. You can always stand, okay? You can, if I'm over the camera, you can always stand, pretend I'm standing, and work the elbow to the knee. Okay, and you can work a crunch that way. So if you feel like you can't be down on the ground, not a problem, okay? So if you can be down on the ground, join me back on your mat here, okay? Take a look, maybe watch me first, then you can follow along. So it's going to be a basic sit-up with our feet in front of us, like we used to do the presidential fit physical fitness test back in the day in school. So we're gonna have our feet in front of us, and we're gonna sit up, but we're gonna pretend that we're holding a big heavy bar. And we're gonna keep our hands like this as we come on up. So that's gonna really engage the upper abs. And the sit up piece, the actual sit from, from you know, shoulders up into the air is gonna be a lower out piece. Okay, so really working lots of abdominal muscles in that, that uh, core area, okay? All right, so here I am. Make sure you guys can see me. Yeah, it looks like it. So pretend you've got a bar in your hand, okay? Or maybe maybe you could even put a towel in your hand, right? Maybe, maybe let's even use a towel. Might that make sense, okay? 
So you can even use a towel if that makes you, that way you don't have to imagine, right? Bring the legs out just a little bit, okay? So you're gonna use your heels to dig out, okay? So we sit up and come on up nice and tall. Back down, we sit up, back down. And this is not an easy one, okay? Can you guys see me hopefully? Pushing, so I'm using my heels to sit up. This is not easy. Make sure you guys can see me from the side, okay? So we're here, come on up and back down because I'm in a little divot, sorry. Come on up and back down. So try to sit all the way up, but you, what I'm doing essentially is taking your hands out of the exercise, okay? So by having your hands high, you automatically, if you just sat like this, just like this, if this is all you can do and you brought your shoulders up and squeeze the towel out, you're working, okay? You don't even have to sit up, but if you can sit up, even better, okay? So just the action of the squeeze is, might be enough for some of you, okay? All right, lastly, to planks. All kinds of bugs on me. So plank is a, a move that works lots of things. It works the hamstrings, the glutes. You wouldn't think so, right? The abdominal core, the low back, the shoulders, even the mid back. Okay, so if you do a plank properly, it's a full body move. That's why you see all these plank challenges all the time because it really is a full body move, no doubt about it. So I want you to get a few things right because as a, as a personal trainer for 21 years now, I see people doing planks crazy all the time. So let's get this right. So we want to start with, if you can, you can do this on your knees. Toes will be a little bit showing us a little bit more strength, but everybody has to start somewhere. So we're gonna start with our hands, our palms, right underneath our shoulders. You don't want to be, be in front of your shoulders, or you're gonna hurt yourself. Right under your shoulders, so you're really feeling the chest and the upper back. So hands right under the shoulders. If you can, come up onto your toes and your hips should be in line. I can't say this enough. Your hips should be in line with your shoulders. You don't wanna drop your hips, okay? You'd only drop your hips if you were doing turns, okay? We're not gonna do those, we're just gonna hit a straight plank. So I should be able to create a nice little table for myself that if people wanted to have supper on my back, pull up a chair to me and spread out a plate on top and have their sandwich right across my back, that's what you should be able to do, okay? So here it is, pushing. Now, if you feel like your two hands are too far away, roll forward and all of a sudden feel the abs engage, right? So if I could see you and fix you, make sure you roll forward and really push through the hands. Almost dome the back. Push the hands away like you're, you're gonna dome the back. Don't lift the shoulders, but dome the back because that's really gonna bring the abs in. That's what you're really working on a plank. Let's see it one more time. So we're here, push. This feels easy because I'm actually going up a hill. <laughs> Let me show you the side view, okay? You can't see all of me, but at least you can see my hands. So. A lot of people mistakenly do a plank like this. I want you to roll forward and get your hands right underneath your shoulders, okay? So a lot of people are here. It's here. As soon as you roll, man, that changes the whole exercise, right? And come on down. All right, my friends. Again, Kerry McElroy, Fall River YMCA. Thanks for taking part in the Fall River Fitness Challenge. I think it's almost done. This is one of the last ones, last videos that we're making for the Y. So, Come and see us if you want to know. There are lots of other local clubs that are that are part of this challenge too. Go see them, you know. It's these small businesses, it's so, you know, difficult. It's been during COVID. So go see these folks, you know, all the folks that have participated in this particular challenge. Um, they've all got some great things for you. Just move, that's the key, okay? Stay moving. It's not rocket science. It's eating a little better, moving a little bit more, and you're golden. Have a great fall. Good luck.